Hi guys, today we will see how we can create a simple neural network model using R and the model will be used to calculate the square root of a given number. Okay, so I hope this will be exciting for you if you are beginning with the uh, uh, neural networks in R. So for that purpose, I am simply importing my library that is neural net and I'm creating a training input. So here I'm creating an input of 60 variables or you can see not the variables, 60 samples. I'm creating 60 samples or uh, within the range of 0 to 300. So let me run it and probably it will make some sense when I run it. So you can see now that I have created a training input and these are just random numbers from 0 to 300, okay? And now, I will create an output also uh, for and I will simply take the square root of my input data. So here I am taking the square root of my input data and let me just uh, create an uh, you know a data frame. So I will simply bind my training input and training output which are nothing but the numbers and their square root and I will simply rename them as training input and training output. And if I'll show you now, then you can see that we have done nothing but created a training input and a training output. So let I think I have just misnamed it. So this is my training input and this is my training output. Output here. And now I will have to run it again because I just given them the wrong name. So now you can see that I have training input and training output. So these are basically my training data now. So now I'll create a simple neural network model. And in this model, I am simply writing out that my output is a function of my input. And data is my training data, which I have just calculated here. And hidden, I am saying that I'm creating a neural network of two hidden layers with 10 nodes, okay? Uh, if you want to keep a single layer, then you can simply provide the like you can simply provide it like this. Okay. Uh, but now I'm using it as two layer uh, neural network. I'm providing the threshold at 0 0.1 means when we do not see any improvement in the error uh, below that below this threshold, then it should stop. Life sign equals to full is basically it will print out the summary of each iteration. Then we have life sign dot step. So life sign dot step means that after each of the 10 iteration, it will print out the uh, progress. And if you want to simply understand what all are the parameters in this package, then you can simply run this command question mark neural net. And on the right hand panel, you can see everything here. We have the learning rate also and learning rate and activation functions, those things we will see in the future videos. This is a very simple example and I do not want to make it too complex for you now. So basically, uh, let me run this neural network. Let me train this and you can see that uh, it has converted very quickly. So it has converged in merely three milliseconds or something. Let me show you the input of this uh, particular uh neural net so it is a neural network and uh, let me write it down here and uh, here you can see some summary also so you can have a look at it at a later point uh when you run all this okay and this is a class of neural network so now what I will do that I will simply create a test data and I will create it as from the number of 1 to 30 and I will square them. So let me show you the test data also. So this is basically nothing but a square of 1 to 30 and what I will do that I will simply rename this also. Okay. Uh, or what I can do that let us keep it as it is right now and we will rename it at a later point. So for now what I will do that I will simply use my neural network model which I have just simply created here 
and I will provide it the test data and I will store the square root into test underscore square root underscore n and whatever my neural network predict as square root of this in, uh, test data. Okay, so now uh, what I can do that I can also let me create another variable and let me write it as uh, you can say that I want to create a test output. So let me say test output and I will simply create it as uh, my C bind of my test data test data and then I have this I will create something as square root of my test data so this is basically I will compute the square root manually and then I will simply append what I call is as whatever is predicted by my neural network also and I will see that what is the difference and I will also say call names of my test output to be and I will name these so I will simply re, uh, rename these as uh, let us say I will rename these as test input and I will simply uh, rename it as uh, what I can say that test underscore x expected underscore square root so this is basically uh, what we have what we can compute you know what we can compute uh, manually during a square root function and this will be our square root from my neural network and if I run it now then let me see that what error did I get here okay I did not run it all so let me just run my predictions let me create my test output and let me bind it all now so now I have created something called test output and these are my 30 observations so so I think I have made certain mistake here and the mistake is that uh, my neural network uh, has multiple attribute so let me show you here if I run this model here if I provide the name of this uh, particular model uh, then there are multiple attributes so in order to uh, gather the results of my neural network model I have to write n and dot result my model name dot, uh, and I will have to write dollar net dot result so these will be my output and here what I'm doing is that I'm simply providing the column names for my test input and text expected square root that is basically what I have calculated here uh, using the square root command and here is my predictions using neural network and if I'll show you now view test output now now you can see that for one it has uh, the square root of one it is one and what my neural network has predicted 0 0.765 for four it is uh, actually the square root of four is two while my neural network has predicted uh, 1.89 9 the square root is 3 while the neural network has predicted very close 3.03 .03. similarly for 4 also you can see that 3.09 and similarly you see that uh, for 20 for 30 it has gone so you see that as the gap is rising uh, there is some difference but still uh, since this is a very simple neural network so we can expect such kind of thing you see that uh, it is doing uh, pretty well so far so that is what uh, we can improve upon it and uh, we can just uh, you know try out with other parameters uh, using the learning data and all so I would encourage you to build a model with other parameters also and let me know how it performs so thank you for watching this video and I will see you in another video until then i would highly request you to please like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel and thank you very much for watching this video